Okay, you guys, so Diamond and Scrappy is having a little spat online. So Diamond did a sit down with Carlos King. I believe the interview is gonna be released tomorrow. And let's just say Diamond is spilling some real tea. They tarnished it. Do you feel like you're responsible for Erica eating off of Love & Hip Hop right now? So you know that they wanted me first and I turned it down. Ask yourself that question. He was never the main chick. He was always number two. I got the ring first. Why are you so invested in your first baby daddy? You should be trying to figure out what's going on with your second baby daddy. Or why you had these kids knowing that he was in a relationship with a whole nother woman. Is it true that when you and Scrappy were living together that Bambi went into the house and she was one of the women that he was cheating on you with? But yeah, it was my house. And Erica came over there as well. So when Scrappy saw this preview, I guess he caught himself trying to call her out and embarrass her. So he commented on one of the blogs and said, somebody mad cause Scrap don't want to be with them. She said, let's correct that. I don't want you. Don't make me post receipts. And y'all, that's exactly what she did. So first she posted Scrappy wishing her a Merry Christmas. He said, Merry Xmas, baby. I love you, enjoy your life, be happy, and love on your son. I got you something too, but be blessed. See you soon. And he sent her a whole video. Hey, just want to say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas with your beautiful face. Blanca, Blanca, say Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas, Dada. Merry Christmas, Dada. You know, just taking it in, man. Just taking it in. It's gonna be all right. God got us. I woke up shot for me and you. Bless you, baby. Love you. Be blessed. And she wasn't done there. She also posted another conversation between the two. And she said, this is why I left you 10 years ago and never looked back because of the issue doing now. You ain't changed. Bye. He said, see how you talking to me? And she said, you should have thought about that before you posted the pool. So then he texted her on New Year's Eve and said, I know you're not trying to talk to me, but I wanted to know if I could take Princeton and me and Bree to SmackDown on my B-Day. She said, as long as you know, I'm not effing with you no more and you understand why. But you definitely can take Princeton with you and Bree. I don't feel like I would mistreat my child. Now Diamond definitely stood on business when she posted those receipts and it def looks like it's the other way around this scrap still wants her but she really doesn't want anything to do with him but how do y'all feel about scrap trying to make it seem like that she still wanted him and what do y'all feel about this interview that's getting ready to be released tomorrow are y'all tuning in y'all let me know what y'all think about everything below but that's all i have for you and i'll talk to you later